You're watching Daytime Tea Time with Candice. It's time to pour this tea, and stir this tea, and sip this tea. Let's get right into it. All right, everybody, welcome to Daytime Tea Time. If you're new to my channel, my name is Candice. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will always know when I upload. All right, y'all, let's get into this mess. Y'all know when y'all see me smiling like this, it's about to be real messy. So let's get into it. Okay, so Wendy Williams has officially put her house on the market, okay? She is officially selling the home that she used to share with her soon-to-be ex-husband, Kelvin. And she's selling the home for $1,895,000. Now, the list for this house is on Zillow.com and you guys somebody done hacked Wendy Williams account on Zillow.com they describe Wendy Williams home as being a magnificent Bel Air home and if you scroll down to the what I love about this home section it says soundproof bedroom cheater ass Kevin Hunter and innocent Wendy Williams former home so y'all somebody done hacked Wendy Williams Zillow account okay now this is not the first time we've heard Wendy Williams name attached to hacking I'm just saying <laughs> but I'm not about to go there with y'all. The listing agent for the house, her name is Jamie Silverman, and the Blast.com reached out to her, and she specifically said that she was shocked by this information being on the Zillow account, and she said it was definitely hacked. It's being reported that a fan of Wendy Williams is the person who hacked the account. I don't know, my name is Bennett and I ain't in it, so I don't know who wrote that, but listen, I'm here for it. So Calvin Hunter is being shaded as a cheater on Zillow.com, as well as on the Wendy Williams show. Y'all, yesterday was Wendy Williams last episode before she enters into season 11, which is on September 16th. So yeah, they taped the last episode yesterday, y'all, and Wendy Williams was throwing all kind of shade at Kelvin Hunter and his side chick, Sharina. And the best part about it is that she threw all that shade without even saying their names, okay? But we know that's who she was talking about. Now that's how you throw shade. Check this out and then I'm coming back with some more. I believe every word she's saying, but Chevette, Chevette, look, how you got him is how you lose him. And if you don't have money, oh well, that's on you. You cheated on, you cheated with this man on his wife and his family for years, all right? So I don't feel sorry for you, all right, girl? If you didn't save your money, like he might've made you pay for your own plane tickets and stuff like that. If you weren't thorough enough to get that money once you landed and finished topping him off. <laughs> then that's your fault. And, and if, you weren't, if you weren't smart enough to get Gucci bags and diamonds and stuff and take that stuff to the pawn shop, then that's your fault. No good comes to the side chicks. <laughs> Shabette, at least if you had his baby, that would have ensured your future. <laughs> Y'all, this is just too much, okay? Wendy Williams knows she a mess, but I'm here for it. Now, also, Wendy Williams did get emotional while talking about her entering into season 11. Now, she said that she will not be doing the show forever, but she will have a season 11. And I suspect that it will be her last season because typically these networks will renew you for like two or three seasons ahead. And to my knowledge, she has not been renewed for more than one more season. Check this out and then I'm coming back with some more. Um, this season has been, well, hell for me, in a weird way. And I appreciate doing this show, because it's my one hour, you know, where I get to be fun and forget about stuff. You've seen me pass out this season, you've read in tabloids and the paparazzi and all that, but through it all, my one joy, aside from my son and, you know, my family, is you. Yeah! for season 11. A lot of people didn't think we could do it, but we did it. Okay, you guys, so you heard that. And she also had Jerry O'Connell on the show that day as well, introducing his new talk show, which will be filmed in her studio, in her time slot. So I feel that they may be trying to ease Jerry O'Connell into Wendy Williams' spot because she is done with the Wendy Williams show after season 11, in my opinion. Every day I look forward to that hour of television. Yeah, day. a little adult time away from the kids. And I can't believe I'm here today working for you. It's such a... Jerry. It's such an honor. Thanks, Jerry. Thank you. It's an honor. Thank you. I followed you for many, many years. I'm from New York. You're from down the street. Here's the thing. 
Um, when you are success, and it's, you have three weeks to prove it, is your show, do you want it to be here in New York or you want it to be based in LA? Um, well, Wendy, because I work for you, I will go wherever you tell me to go. Um, I do, hold on a second, hold on a second. I am, I am married with children, so and I have out to, there. well, I have to, uh, like, discuss it, of course, with my wife and yeah. stuff. I mean, Well, you don't want to take your kids out of school. They, they want their own friends. Um, they, no, like, let's take them out of school. Come on, forget <laughs> yeah. it. Um, Daddy's got a big paycheck now. I know. I, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm very excited about the Jerry O Show. We're yeah. going to have a lot of fun. Obviously, it, nothing will be the same as your show. Uh, but it'll no be complimentary. One... It, because, like, you're, like, you know, because I would like it to be, like, Wendy at 10, Jerry at 11. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah. Or something like that. <laughs> Something like that. Something like yeah. that. Like I, I want us to be like a, a thing. Well, Wendy, no one, no one can be you though. Just understand. Well, I know, like, no and one I don't want you. anyone to expect no. anything even close to what you do. I want to say I guest hosted here. That's why you're here. And I want to say what Wendy does for that, what they call it, the first segment. I don't want to get too topics. inside the hot topic segment. No one else does that, everyone. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Well, everybody gossips. I've done it. Like, I know everybody gossips, but typically it's a group of people talking and chiming in, or it's oh, yeah. two people talking and chiming in. Yeah. No one with ease comes out <laughs> <laughs> Jerry. and tells you, Jerry, you what is too. what. Well, that's because I don't care. <laughs> I, I, you know, and, that, and that's the first thing. You have to get out here like you don't care. You know, if you have a little uh, extra pounds or whatever, you don't care. You know, and just, you look just amazing. Go. And you Thank know you, you do, girl. I'm, I'm real single, Jerry. <laughs> I know. I have my, trust me, I have my ear to the ground. Yes. Um, can I have the gift, Jerry? Oh, Wendy, you're going to make me cry. You're going to make me cry, Wendy. Thank you, Jerry. Once you get picked up, we're gonna finish the rest of the diamonds, okay? Okay, all right. Hey, Wendy, I'm, I'm here for you. I just, we, we watch you every day. I'm a co-host just like everybody else, and I love you so much. Thank you, I Jerry. Really I'm so happy you're doing mm -hmm. well. Jerry O'Connell, everybody, the Jerry O Show. Premieres Monday, <laughs> August 12th at 10 a.m. right yes. here on Fox. Okay, so you guys saw that, and now you understand why I feel that season 11 will be Wendy Williams' last season. Y'all saw that she passed the baton over to Jerry O, okay? And you heard Jerry continuously say that he works for Wendy Williams. So I believe that she is the one that's pushing the show, she's the one that got him the show, and she's probably the one producing the show, okay? Wendy Williams handpicked Jerry O to replace her. Now, no shade, but in my personal opinion, I feel like she chose him because he's a white man and the complete opposite of her. She does not want anybody to follow after her that can actually compete with her. Y'all can call it messy if you want, but that's just my personal opinion. Y'all know how women are. Y'all know how we are. A lot of the time, women get intimidated by other women who may be just as pretty as them or prettier than them or just as talented as them or more talented than them. So Wendy Williams was not gonna choose a woman, let alone a black woman, okay? So she chose somebody who was funny, bubbly, a white man, Jerry O. Now, I can't say I'm excited to watch his show, I'm really not, but I like him. He's funny, he makes me laugh, but would I run to the TV to watch him? No, I'm just saying. But listen, Wendy, I understand, girl, you don't want no competition, so you can't choose nobody who's just as talented and funny and messy as you are. But you had to choose a white man, it's okay. RuPaul also had a test run of a show over the summer, so I feel he's another option as well. And the T is, y'all, I've been getting emails from some people who are interested in me having my own show. Now, I'm not saying I'm replacing Wendy Williams, but I'm saying somebody interested. But I ain't gonna say no more. I don't wanna say no more. I don't wanna stop my blessings. But y'all better put a prayer up for me, okay? We gonna be off of YouTube before we know it. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. But all right, y'all, I'm done with this, and I wanna know what y'all think. What do you guys think about Wendy Williams putting her home on the market and someone hacking it, calling her ex-husband, or soon-to-be ex-husband, Kelvin, a cheater, and calling Wendy Williams innocent? Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one, all right? Bye.